Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2017 Mercedes, she's a 350E, so she's a hybrid a petrol engine with battery, what do I call it? Battery help. Huh? Um, petrol and battery power, here we go with that. Now what we have, I'm, I'll show you where I'm at. I started doing a slight little bit of digging on this thing. We have a couple of fault codes stored. Customer owns the car, customer wants to get the car right. And at some stage, he has had some style of lights come on or drivability. It's gone on with a couple of months now from the last time he had gotten it serviced. So it's back in now to try and do a little bit of digging. Um, one of the fault codes, fault codes that I'm chasing after is a P06DA. Engine oil pressure control circuit open. Now I'm hoping that I'm going to get back. Exit, sorry. Out of this thing. Okay, right. I've done a code scan. A starter combustion engine has, a starter of the combustion engine has a malfunction, general failure. Not too bothered about that at this point. What it was coming in for was this one, the, the P06DA. And that's the oil pump. Fault, I suppose we haven't, ha are having. It's pending, pending, and then we have current and pending here. I suppose while I'm in here looking as well, I can see the valve for, it's a P052E valve for crankcase ventilation has a malfunction. The actuator is blocked. Okay, so we'll, we'll go after that at some stage. But for now, what I'm kind of chasing after is that fault there. Okay. I've gone in to fix it and all that fancy stuff over here, which is absolutely no use to us whatsoever. But I'm going to go, we have, I've done a little bit of looking on Diagnose Dan, just to see what the story is. Now, it's not very, dare I say, one second now, I'm going to get my hand on the mouse to the left hand. Not very generic, but what I am seeing here is... When I look on bulletins for a P06DA, which you can see over here, okay, it's on an older car and a, probably a different style and size of an engine. But what I'm seeing is I'm only using it for a little bit of information. When I scroll down, it's the only information I can get on it. I'm not even going to read this thing too much. What I do see is the actual oil pump is controlled via a solenoid for more or less oil pressure. Now we have a little loom that's coming down around up and onto this solenoid. And then if I scroll down onto the next picture, because pictures are nice, that's the actual loom. Do I see the block connectors that are pulling out of that? I don't know. Maybe it did. Um, that's the loom coming from the solenoid out. And then I have a picture of the new loom. I also have a picture of the solenoid. And I'm bearing this in mind that it's not off of, off of our specific engine. But what I am seeing is here we have a block connector going in to the actual block crank case, whatever you want to call it. Connecting to that loom down around and on to the actual pump somewhere in there. Do I have any more pictures? There's our actual loom again. Going up and out, and that's the new wiring loom that has been fitted. That is it, isn't it? From that bit of information, what I've done, oh, what I've done, I'm just going to do a little bit of digging, trying to figure out where I'm going to go, because I'm not familiar with this thing. But while at the car, I can you see now, I'm just going to get a camera set up. You know me, I'm bad with my camera work. Um, I can see a block connector. You can vaguely see it there going in and on into the block around the crank pulley, and that's where the other one was. So maybe I'm going to disconnect that. And if I if I disconnect that, am I going to get another fault code? Or is it going to be to do with oil pressure as well? So I'm going to create faults here. We're going to disconnect that and see what happens. And hopefully if it's to do with oil pressure, then we can check the actual wiring and the solenoid integrity from down there with an ohm meter. 11 ohms, it says on Diagnose Dan. 
we'll see what this thing is about first anyway, okay? We'll go from there. Okay, guys. If we can see, I have the block connector gone. Yep. Off of, you can see the block connector there. You can't see the, no, you can't. I can see it in there, yeah. Okay. We have that disconnected anyway. Let's go on. Clear a few faults and see where we end up. Okay, we're going to into engine management and just see. Um, we'll clear codes. We know what codes we have, so we're going to clear codes. We do have the ignition on. Yes. Go. Some codes that said they need a test drive to be sure. Ooh, look. Hmm. Interesting. So the only one I have an open circuit for is that. Okay, so we could be on the right joke, could we? This is a drop the drop the actual what? Sump off the car and get in at this thing. Okay. I'm kind of, dare I say, happy enough. At that point, for this thing, might get a look at the PCV valve and see where we're at. I'll do a resistance check actually on the, the very small, on the pins of that thing as well. Hard to get in that and very small. Uh, if I put a bulb in there, would it fall clear? And there's a, a, a frame of thought. We might get in something in that circuit just to prove the actual wiring integrity. So I get something on my on my wires that are coming to this thing to give it some kind of a, a circuit and, and we'll just see what happens when we cycle key or clear faults or whatever with a bulb in there, okay? Okay guys, <clears throat> we've got a solenoid out of a um, VVT solenoid out of a, a Mini or a Peugeot or something like that that I know is good, I have jumper cables going over over that over there, 7 ohms of resistance on that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use those jumper leads and these little pins that are the actual same size as what's in here and I'm going to run that car circuit through that solenoid and see can we get rid of that fault code. That's what we're going at now at this point. Today. Okay, solenoid sitting there. It's in a little bit of plastic, jumper cables coming in, leads down. Can you see? Mm. I go down and in. Can you see where we're connected? Okay, so in theory, that if it's the problem in the engine and not the loom, in theory, this solenoid is completing that circuit. And again, in theory, we should be able to clear fault codes at this point in time if it's the solenoid or the loom that's in the sump because we are at the replacing it at this point. Okay, here we are. We're going to get back. Clear codes. Be off, yeah. Continue. Codes. Eush! Nice. Okay. Codes. Job done, okay. Because, why did I pick that route to go? Hey, we're going nuts, will we? We really go. Let me do it down here because we have to disconnect down here anyway. Two pins out, circuit open, solenoid disconnected again. And get a look at our codes. I'm only just doing this for, for recording purposes now. You've seen this already, codes. Okay, right, simple, nice. Um, without a shadow of a doubt now, I can 100% say that that loom is for our oil pump quantity or whatever the heck it, it was called there. And I can 100% say that it's from that block connector in that I have a fault. This is big. He would be probably dropping cross members and subframes and all that stuff to get in at this sump this is probably going to be a big 
undertaking for someone and going to be a relatively expensive one. Um, yeah, look, that's where we're heading right now. Anyway. Happily, we can condemn this. Probably going to close this video up at, at this point in time. Don't know if he's going to go or not going to go. More than likely he will, but it's oil pressure. It's a good engine and a good car. It needs to be fixed. And we need to get the updated version of whatever the heck is in there. I get prices and stuff on some of the parts and maybe let you know. Also, I might do a little bit of digging and I may show you in a bit of bonus footage uh, something about the PCV valve, the satellite in there. It's not complaining of a circuitry issue in here with the PCV valve. I don't actually know where the PCV valve is. I'm assuming it's going to be affiliated with that lump of plastic that's here and heading over underneath that bit of aluminium. Um, but for now, for now, we're probably closing it up. And I'll give you bonus footage of the prices and maybe the PCV valve, okay? If it comes back, I'll do another video for the repair. But on the diagnosis of it, that is it. That is me done on that. PCV valve is a late one. That's the biggest deal for me right now and what I was going after, okay? Guys, please like and subscribe if you like any of my hints and tips. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next cartoon. Peter Kennedy, signing out. See you, guys. Okay guys, a little bit of bonus footage here. I'm under the actual E350 here. What I was trying to do was figure out the PCV system. PCV system is on the rocker cover up top, as I pointed out, and coming down and bolted on up over the starter down here. There is no electrical control solenoids that I can see on that section of it. So that made me dig a bit harder. Now I believe that these pipes then coming down are coming from around the timing chain and down and they are PCV of some sort up here these pipes okay now when i'm following that little hose out and around i can see what looks like an evap solenoid up here now we don't have an electrical issue but we do have a flow issue so maybe some of this is getting blocked or even that solenoid could be damaged but for now i can see it coming out and it's going to open onto the air intake just up there out of sight hard for me to see never mind on the camera but that's that bit of digging. I'm not going to be too focused on that right now, but what I did do was we saw and we had a fault for starter circuit. If you look in here, that grommet looks to be wrong. It doesn't look right in it. Okay, so I'm just out there. I'm just out there pushing that and it's out there popping off in my hand. But look in around the base of the starter motor. Okay, see these little burn marks? Because we had a starter issue, or starter fault code as well. Now, I have one little look. Can you see that? I'm hoping that my, I steady my hand up. Okay. Something is out there happening inside this. I could squeeze up these bolts, which maybe I will, but I'm probably gonna recommend he gets a new starter motor on this thing. Just, that's me looking and making a recording of the part number for myself, more so than ye. Um, but I'm going to suggest that he's going to want a starter motor here as well, just to not have that fail when the time comes. Okay, bonus wishes, guys. Talk to you soon.